Hello dear viewers and listeners. Welcome to our Teleradio Escuela Tarana, the school on air program of the Etagum City. This is your host, Kennedy G. Alimbon. Today, you will be learning about the characteristics and properties of pure substance and mixtures. A lesson in Grade 7 Science, Quarter 1, Module 3. So, get your modules, your notebooks, and your writing pens. And be comfortably seated in your respective homes. To give us the information about this topic, let me give you our teacher broadcaster, Teacher Jibrina A. Sulaiman. Thank you, Sir Ken. Hello, dear viewers and listeners. We are glad because despite the pandemic, we can still continue learning through our Tele Radio Escuela. I am your teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Jibrina Arima Sulaiman. Today, we will be discussing about science lesson in Grade 7, Quarter 1, Module 1, with the title, Two Worlds Apart, Pure Substances versus Mixture. Towards the end of our episode, you will be able to First, define pure substance and mixture. Second, describe pure substance and mixture based on their set of properties. And lastly, you're going to relate the importance of pure substance and mixture in real life situations. Thinking back in your elementary science lessons, you have learned that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. And with that, I can anticipate that you can classify matter according to their states. Can you still remember the three states of matter? Very good! The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Moving on, try to look around you. Everything that you see and feel are all examples of matter. Do you see any difference among them? How about similarities? This time, we're going to talk about pure substances. Pure substances are substances that are made up of only one kind of particle, or they have a fixed or constant structure. Thus, Pure substances are always homogeneous in appearance. There are two types of pure substances. We have the element and the compound, which I know you have already learned in your previous episodes. Am I right? On the other hand, mixtures are consist of two or more different substances. And because of this, Mixtures are heterogeneous or without uniform composition and their appearance is not the same throughout. Now I have here some examples of substances you can find in your kitchen. Can you help me identify which among them are examples of a pure substance and which are mixtures? So very good. Here are the examples of pure substances. We have water, salt, and sugar. They are considered pure substance because they are all examples of compounds and they are all made up of one kind. On the other hand, tree and one coffee and macaroni salads are all examples of mixtures. They are considered mixtures because they are composed of different substances that are mixed together. Just like the three in one coffee, which is made up of coffee, sugar, and cream. Aside from their appearance, another property that we can use to distinguish pure substance and mixture is their boiling and melting point. Boiling point is the temperature at which the pressure exerted by the surroundings upon a liquid is equal by the pressure exerted by the vapor of the liquid. In short, boiling point is the temperature at which chemical boils. Like water, it boils at 100 degrees Celsius 
ethyl alcohol boils at 79 degrees Celsius, and at 2,441 degrees Celsius, an aluminum metal boils. Isn't it amazing? All substances has their boiling point. Did you know that the only water that boils at 100 degrees Celsius is the distilled water? That's right, because only distilled water contains no impurities, not just like the water in the faucet, in the ocean, or even the rain. Moreover, during boiling point, the temperature of a pure substance changes at the start, then it becomes the same and constant. Now, to explain further, I have here two samples of liquids. Can you help me identify which among them is an example of a pure substance? So I have here the data for liquid A. After 30 seconds, it has a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, while liquid B has an 85 degrees Celsius. After 90 seconds, Liquid A has a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, while liquid B has a temperature of 87 degrees Celsius. Based on the data provided, can you tell me which is an example of a pure substance? Very good! Liquid A is an example of a pure substance, while liquid B is an example of a mixture. Because based on the data provided, liquid A has a constant temperature, unlike with the liquid B. After having discussed the examples of pure substance and mixtures and their examples, we can use another property to distinguish pure substance and mixture. And this is through the separation of its component. In pure substances, the components are chemically combined. Thus, any physical means to separate its components cannot be done. Say, for example, water can only be separated into hydrogen and oxygen through the process called electrolysis. Electrolysis is the process by which electric current is passed through a substance to effect a chemical change. On the other hand, Components of mixture can still be separated in different techniques. And here are some examples of separating components in a mixture. First, physical manipulation. This process uses a spoon or any scooping material or by picking. Another is what we call as magnetism. This time, you're going to use magnets to separate metallic materials from non-metallic components. Another is what we call as filtration. Filtration is the separation of insoluble solid in a liquid mixture using a filter paper. We also have decantation. Decantation is the process in where large particles of insoluble solids are separated from liquid mixture. And lastly, we have the evaporation. This separates the soluble solid from the liquid component of the solution by evaporating the liquid substances. At this part of our lesson, let us identify which separating technique is applicable to the following mixture. Are you ready? Water and salt. Very good. We are going to use evaporation. Next is rice and needles. Very good. We are going to use magnetism since needle is a metal material. Next is rice and water. Very good. This time we are going to use decantation. When we are pouring out the excess water, when we are washing our rice, that is already an example of decantation. <laughs> Next is coconut meat and cream. Very good. We are going to use filtration. Good job, dear viewers and listeners. I hope you have learned from our discussion today and it may help you in your everyday living. Again, I am your teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Jubrina Arimo Suleiman, saying, keep safe, God bless. Thank you so much, Teacher Jubrina. That was very informative. 
Thank you, students, viewers, and listeners. I hope you've learned something today. Stay tuned for more hashtag Scientific Adventures. Keep safe, everyone, and bye for now. Na 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 Pentagon Rat Escuela na 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 Pentagon Rat Escuela na Halika na makinig sa mga aral na minghatin sa ang sumulo kaman kapatid aabutin ka ng amin tini walang araw na sa sayangin edukasyon ipagpatuloy natin anumang pagsubok at mga balakid 